Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a haul video, aka break the bank video, aka I've dipped so far into my pockets to buy all the stuff video. I'm kind of feeling really edgy today. Back of girl, she going on with my leather jacket. All I need now is like a motorcycle. Do you know I've never ever rid ridden, ridden, rode. She's so sweat. This English that I'm speaking today, sorry. I've never been on a motorcycle before in my whole life. It's something I probably would do at some point. It's on my bucket list for sure. That and skydiving amongst other things. Um, I think I'm still kind of cool with being alive at the moment. Um, when I'm ready to take that risk, I <laughs> will go and do all that stuff later. I hope you can grab some popcorn or you know a cup of tea or whatever you feel like you want to snack on and enjoy this video because I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. I'm hoping that you guys don't blame me if you go and you spend money on all these things and you like it okay i'm not going to be held responsible i i'm not i'm just not so yeah just leave me out of it yeah just go and spend money you look great anyway so the first is this brown bag it's got this like croc detail on it and i've been looking for a brown bag or a tan bag to wear with my neutrals for a long time um i always seem to find really nice black bags but i never find like you know tote bags are really nice and you know Still expensive looking, but are still quite affordable. So Zara did me good with this one. I've removed the price tag because I've worn it a couple of times since I bought it, but I think it was around, it was under 50 pounds there about, maybe about 30 or 40 pounds. And um, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I will leave like links down below so you can click for the correct prices and stuff. But I remember seeing the bag and thinking, oh my God, this is so nice and I really wanted it. And it goes with so many of the neutral stuff that I have in my wardrobe, so it's perfect. So if you guys are looking for a nice brown bag that you can take to work or you can just wear in days where you wanna put quite a bit in your bag, it fits my laptop in there as well. So it's brilliant because it literally put, you can put so much stuff in. And you know me guys, when I carry a big bag, I usually have a bag inside a bag inside a bag because I like to organize my stuff. Um, with little bags in it just so I can find it easily um, so yeah this is a really really nice bag and um, yeah check it out from Zara the next bag is this over or is it crossbody bag I always get that wrong people always correct me is it cross yeah crossbody bag um, this one is really gorgeous sort of like neutral um, nude and I like the fact that it's a flap you can open it and you can stick stuff in. I forgot to show you guys the inside of the brown bag. It's just like a normal tote, really nothing special in there. It's just got like one of these extra bits that you can stick stuff in. It's just a tote, it doesn't have any pockets or anything. Um, but yeah, back to this one. This is nice because it's got so many different compartments in there. And even though it's small, it can actually hold quite a bit of stuff. I took this around with me um, in my last uh, on my last trip to Mallorca. And it's just such a nice girly bag that you can wear with pretty much anything um, that's sort of like frilly and girly and nude and white and stuff like that. And I really, really liked it because yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got like a gold panel thing on, which I really like on the front. And this was 39.99 if I remember correctly. Next bag from Zara is this mustard one. And it's got, it's like one of those um, shoulder bags and you can wear it as a um, over crossbody cross body bag as well. Um, this was 49.99. Now you're probably thinking, why, 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 why is it expensive like that? But it looks just like the Chloe one. It was a Chloe bag that I saw while I was in Paris last month. And I was like, do I spend a thousand pounds on that? Or do I go find like a cheap alternative? And I found one in Zara and it's just as gorgeous, but a little bit more economical. I'll leave a link down below to the um, Chloe one that I saw so you guys can have a little comparison with it as well. But I, I just like the function and I just like, I like to be a bit economical and stuff. I still haven't, you know, expended, a, you know, a large amount of money on um, in a designer bag yet. Um, I had an LV bag a while ago, but that wasn't even mine. That was my mum. She gave it to me. But I haven't actually, you know, gone, I haven't actually gone and bought a bag. A designer bag so if you guys think I should check them out let me know which one I should get as my first designer bag um, yeah right down below but for now I kind of like Zara it kind of works for me and um, this is gorgeous for $49.99 I can never get bored of nude shoes especially ones that come in such a gorgeous style I love these because they've got like a pointed toe and they've got like a lace around the ankle so it's something different I have like lace ups and different kind of nude um, heels and stuff but I don't have anything like this and I thought it would go really nicely with some of the outfits um, that I bought recently so I got this from Zara as well and this was $39.99 okay so on to clothes um, I'm really digging um, the whole kind of blue and stripes and you know it just reminds me so much of summertime and I like this one especially because I can throw this over a pair of like white jeans or like you know 
deep blue jeans or even black jeans or even like a white pair of shorts and with, with a straw hat and take it to the beach i love you know clothes and items that i can style up a dip, like different ways because i feel like yeah my money is going a longer way than you know when i buy something that's one off I put mine in a large because i did want the baggy feel and i want the loose feel and if if i wanted it tight um, I just tuck it into like a skirt, a pencil skirt or something, but I did want it to look loose. Next, I have this gorgeous, sexy dress. Um, apart from the colour, I really love the way it fits. And um, it was $25.99, and I think that's a really nice price for a dress from Zara. It's kind of burnt orange, it's rust. Um, I recently kind of recycled one of my favourite rust pieces and I thought mm, something has to take its place and I found this dress and I thought it's perfect and the back is cut out so you can have a bit of you know back showing if you want to feel like that if you don't feel like that you can put cardigan over it or jacket to make it you know safer for the workplace but if you want to wear it like that which I probably would I quite like the cut out detail um, the neckline is high so it's it's great and um, I just love the dress I thought it looked great next I have this dress now this reminds me of like a Dolce and Gabbana you know ad shot in Italy where you would wear like big kind of like earrings like dangly earrings and the middle parting sleek hair all the way back I don't know why it reminded me of that and I think because of the lace detail as well and it's such a gorgeous color it's kind of like like a a dark powdery rusty pink and um, I'm feeling the lace detail and I'm loving the fact that on the inside it has this you know um, same colored body or same colored underdress there underneath it which is really really nice and I thought it'd be something different for me this next uh, piece or should I say pieces because it's a coordinate set um, it's from Lipsy and it's uh, the Michelle Keegan um, line and I fell in love with this skirt because not only is it white guys it has this really gorgeous lace detail at the bottom and it comes with this halter neck lace top as well and I thought I'd buy it just in case I have like an event or like an occasion like, like an all white party or something to go to if anybody wants to invite me to any of those I'd happily come. I decided to get it because I knew it was going to come in handy eventually and the top was £35 and the skirt was £38 so decent enough you know to spend on you know an occasion outfit. So here's a whole bunch of stuff that I bought from H&M I took a whole bunch of um, some clothes to recycle and I got some vouchers. So I thought, why not go and splurge a little bit on their new collection, some stuff from their conscious collection and some other stuff from their basics collection. And I thought, why not have a go? And I found some really gorgeous pieces. And also, randomly, when I was at the till, I found that these earrings. I found this gorgeous um, pack of earrings. There's rose gold studs, kind of like a pinky pearl going on, and some diamantes. Um, you know, I actually really loved the diamante and the pearly ones, and it was three ninety nine for the pack of all of them. Um, so yeah, but this skirt is so gorgeous. I mean, look at that! It's like a pink frilly skirt, a line skirt. I thought it'd be gorgeous with like a like a white crop top and a pair of rose gold heels. You know, on a nice summer's day, out to lunch with the friends and stuff. I thought it was cute, and it did come with like a coordinate top. I tried the top on, and it wasn't very nice on me. I think it would look um, nicer on someone who's taller perhaps a lot leaner than I am but I tried it on and I it, it was very boxy on my figure and I was like oh no but the skirt looked really good so I decided to get it and it is how much it was 39.99 which is not bad for a really nice skirt with all of this detail you know the little net the little applique 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 probably saying that wrong but hey pink has become my friend how gorgeous is this guys look at that it's so pretty it's like a halter neck but it's got this really nice material i'm not quite sure what material this is where's, where's the english i can't find english well i'm gonna guess and say it's cotton but i love the fact that it's a halter neck like i said and on the back it's got buttons and i thought it looked nice with that skirt or with a pair of white jeans or white trousers or tucked into like a you know, a pencil skirt or something. It's really gorgeous. And it's part of the Conscious Collection and it was twenty nine ninety nine for the top. I got this blouse. This was nineteen ninety nine, and I love this because the material is so soft but then it's kind of stretchy at the same time. And I love this colour because I know it's going to go with literally everything in my wardrobe. And I love pieces like that that go with everything in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I got this in a size 6 though. 
Um, I'm normally an eight, ten, but I got it in a six because I, I want it to be quite fitted, just so I can also use it as a bodysuit if I tuck it into my like, jeans and stuff. So I thought, why not get it? And it was nineteen ninety nine, which is not bad. Lastly, is this gorgeous cardigan. It's one of those ones that you, that goes all the way to the ankles. Well, the ankles on me, it might be uh, a bit higher and someone that's taller than me, but I'm five three, so it goes all the way to ankles. And I quite like the fact that it's long like that. See, so yeah, I got in small and I've ripped up the price tag because I've already worn it once. But if I remember correctly, it was less than £30. So, um, yeah. And nude, nude and neutrals and stuff is always the way forward, guys. If you want to make the most out of your wardrobe and if you want you know, a wardrobe that you can wear over and over again and style a number of different ways, neutrals are pretty good and it's usually the way forward. Okay, so on to Creme de la Mer, my current skincare saviors and favorites. Um, I ran out of the toner, so I needed to get another one. This stuff is pretty expensive, guys, but I haven't used anything like this that has really, like, blessed my skin. And if you want to see, like, a proper, proper, you know, talk through about this brand, then head on to my blog because I have, like, a post, um, like, my love affair with La Mer on there. So I have, like, ratings and, like, a proper in-depth review of each product that I've tried. Um, and to give you like more of my thoughts and stuff, but I really love their toner. Their toner is my favorite product out of every single thing on the in their line because it does really, you know, remove all the dead skin cells and also all the residue that's left after washing your face. And every time I take the whatever, well, every time I use this and I look at the cotton pad afterwards, I'm just so surprised that that much stuff is still on my face after I washed it. But um, yeah, this really does a good job of you know the, the extra cleansing and the toning. So that when the moisturizer goes on, it really does moisturize the skin. So um, the toner, it's called the, it's called the tonic, or le tonique, uh, yeah, creme de la mer. And the girl was so nice enough to like give me a little bag, like a little pouch, and she filled it up with so many different samples and stuff. I always love getting samples. It's like my favorite thing. I mean, I'm spending money on the stuff, but it's just always nice to have samples because you can stick these in your travel bag, and you can also like put them in your gym bag and stuff, or you can, you know, bless some friends and family with stuff, and you know, say, I'd like to, you know you know open i would like to you know share with you the wonderful world of Lemaire. it's always great every time i go they give me really nice samples so um yeah so i popped over to the nars stand and um i wanted to try out something different as far as that like foundation tinted moisturizer and there's this thing called the velvet matte skin tint and it's got spf 30 and it's just a, um, a tinted moisturizer at the moment i'm using my makeup forever hd foundation but on the days where I wanted to just, you know, when I want to just have like a quick routine, something simple and, you know, fuss free and not have to do too much blending so I can just like stick it on my fingers and go. I wanted something like that and um, I tried this on. She did like a shade match um, for me um, at the last counter and it was so nice. It felt so good on my skin and I was like, I need to get this and I need to show it in the video. And what I'm thinking about doing is doing like a, like an everyday makeup look, really simple that like you can you know wear to school, to uni, to college, or to work when you're on the go, you know fast on the go type of makeup. And because when she applied it on, she applied it on so quickly and it looked so flawless and it just felt really light and looked really light, looked like my skin. So I was like, hey, I need to you know let you guys in on this amazing thing. And it's a vel velvet matte skin tint, and the shade that I got was medium to Anna Annapurna, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, NARS are really good. Then I have my all my concealers are from well not all of them but most of them are from NARS. I've got two um, blushes. I got the orgasm blush. I think this is probably the most talked about NARS blush you know in the blogger sphere or YouTuber sphere. And I don't own it. And I tried it on my skin that day and it looked really nice. It's got this like sparkly quality to it and it's kind of pinkish. If I can get it out of the package, that'd be great. Orgasm is just a really gorgeous pinkish. Like a shimmery pinkish blush and um, I thought I'd try it and see how it goes and I really liked it so I decided why not buy it. The next blush is called Luster and it's like a peachy blush, very shimmery peachy blush and I love my peaches, peaches blushes because it makes me feel like I'm glowing from the inside and I thought I'd use this one and mix it with orgasm to create a really nice you know custom made blush colour because I did it that day and it looked fabulous and um, yeah. Topped up on my um, concealer, this is Cafe, this is the one I normally use to contour uh, my face it's just like a couple of shades darker than my skin tone i like the stick because you can just like you know screw out and then just apply it on the areas that you're contouring and literally just blend it um i'm yet to find something else that would replace this but so far i'm loving this and every time i go back and i repurchase it 
when it's finished. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for contour stuff, let me know. I, I would love to check them out though. I also got a lipstick and this one's called Pagal. Ooh, it's called Pagal. I didn't even know it was called Pagal. Um, just like the Louboutin shoes, the one I have, the new one. And it's kind of like, it, it looks like my actual lip colour. So it's like my, my lip colour in a lipstick. So it's like a perfect nude for my lip colour. And what she told me to do is actually dab this on rather than swipe on because it looks more natural that way. Swiping on um, makes it look artificial, but dabbing on this kind of colour just makes the lips look really nice and luscious and stuff. Um, I am going to show you like a swatch of it swiped on, but I'm probably going to show you in a video video so you can see what it looks like you know as part of a tutorial um whatnot but that's a really nice color i thought it was great because i was looking for a nude lipstick that was pretty much my my own um lips uh shade and that one so far so good i also popped over to mac and i bought some lip uh pencils i got spice and night moth um, these are two of my favorites um i've run out of both of them so i needed a replacement of them so I've got them too. I also needed a replacement of my um, highlight concealer. And this is a Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. It's a great concealer to use under the eyes and also to hide blemishes. But for me, it's, my, it's the best thing to use for highlighting. So I'll go two shades lighter, which is NC42. I didn't know I went that ham with the lip glosses. This is what one thing about MAC. You go in there, you start trying things on, and you're like, oh, can I have this? Can I have that? Can I have this? And you're like... I only came here to replace my concealer. Yeah, I got myself three new lip glasses. Um, I got Lust, which is like a favorite of mine. I also got Ample Pink and I got Please Me. Love my matte lips, but these days I'm loving the glossiness of lips. Um, right now I have like snow cap and uh, like a black up. I showed this in my lip combinations video. You guys should go watch that video, by the way. I made that a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling these glosses and they're gorgeous little pinks and nudes and stuff. So that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've seen something that you like or you can check out. I'll leave links to most things that I found on the internet down below so you can click through and have a little bit of shopping marathon. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>